सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज बर्थ ऑफ लिनेक्स ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वील हैव एट लुक एट द लॉगो ऑफ लिनेक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द लॉगो इज हैविंग ए पेंगविन साइन In uh, 1990, Linux Torvald, who was a student from Finland, developed an experimental operating system kernel for the PC, that is, personal computer, called Linux kernel. Linux stood for Linux is not Unix. In the previous thing uh, we had studied about uh, previous video, I had told you about Unix operating system. I had explained you that uh, what is Ubuntu Linux, right? We had done GNU. Now this is the fourth thing that is uh, Linux operating system. Now after he opened, after Linux uh, Torvald opened communication with other programmers on the internet, the project grew. rapidly that means he was also not uh, able to develop the complete operating system on its own he had got that courage that i want to do something so he started the work and uh, wherever he was lacking behind he took the help of other programmers also through internet with the help of these volunteers finally the linux kernel and the gnu components were combined to form the first completely free working unix like system the combination of or the combined system came to be known as gnu oblique uh, linux or simply linux now this chapter is very confusing so i have tra- uh, tried my level best to explain you the chapter properly but uh, i'm sure that if you read this chapter from the textbook 110% your confusion will increase because they have explained the same thing in such a nice way and with so many mistakes also fine we proceed further this is the image of linux torvald a student from finland and this is the logo of his operating system this system became widely pro- popular after linux granted all the freedoms to everyone and a large community of volunteers individual organizations and even commercial corporations started supporting its development linux is a very famous operating system now what uh, freedom did he give freedom and choice we'll have a look at that now linux is mass movement today a large community spearheaded by linux torvald himself looks after the development of the linux kernel and process to develop the software going on and on for all common requirements of users with uh, liberal freedoms now you may be thinking that once they have developed an operating system now what is the need to uh, uh, take care of that operating system right yeah the answer is now the technology is uh, growing very fast so new new updates are to be launched right in our mobile phone also uh, you need to update your apps you need to upla- update your phone right so somebody has to do that work so they were doing this work or they are doing this work in the most common cases the freedom includes the right to obtain the source code of the software it is same like the previous one which we had seen uh, gnu thing so the first freedom is to have the source code second freedom modifying it uh, it was open source you can modify it and contribute the changes back to the community that is you can uh, make give some updates and return it to linux that and uh, you can also redistribute the modified version under your own name that is also possible the variants of linux are 
Ubuntu Linux which is there in our course hardly anybody in the world uses that operating system only god knows why the author of uh, your textbook have included this operating system in your course i am 100% sure he himself also may be using windows operating system fine so we go ahead with uh, variants of linux are ubuntu linux debian gnu oblique linux red hat linux commercial version open s u s e linux nofix etc are the different variants of linux now why are there so many variants the answer is here the operating system is free so many of the programmer add and make some changes and give a new name to the system and that is why new new system gets formed okay so right now we complete that uh, linux topic over here now we have a look at some popular operating systems for personal computers the world best operating system and my favorite operating system is microsoft windows another one is apple os x linux again linux they have repeated the same topic again and again my goodness ubuntu linux that will be taught in detail fine so we start with microsoft windows this is the logo of microsoft windows xp microsoft windows is a proprietary os and must be purchased for using it in india we use pirated version but actually uh, which uh, it's a proprietary version when a new version comes out one must again purchase and upgrade the version to use it now this is a wrong thing which is given in the textbook if a new version comes for example if i am using windows uh, 7 and if i want to use new version say windows 10 windows 7 can never be updated to windows 10 if the author of this textbook is able to do this thing is most welcome why he has given this statement only god knows okay that is true that uh, if you want to install new version you need to buy a new version fine forget it okay it's uh, easy to use operating system 99% people in india uses windows operating system it is the most widely used operating system not only in india but all over the world fine now we come to the next operating system and that is apple os apple os is also a proprietary operating system it comes bundled with the machine manufacturer manufactured by apple and neither work without the other the system is known for its high quality hardware and visual appeal and uh, what the dedicated apple fans apple na bhakto believe that uh, it is the best one the fans believe to be the best user experience the user is uh, confined to the narrow world controlled by apple if you are using any other android phone you can use the full play store and you can download any of the apps from there but if you are using apple phone then you get a very limited choice okay and the third party applications are not supported here that is uh, the biggest drawback of apple and another big drawback of apple is it's very costly okay now again same topic is lim- uh, repeated that is linux operating system linux is just like its predecessor Unix it is known for its high quality performance security reliability and portability no matter how old or low end the hardware is one can find a linux distribution that would run on it so these all things are given in the textbook and i am reading but while installing uh, this type of system even uh, ubuntu linux it was very difficult for us in the school also and uh, hardly it works for 2 3 months 
that is uh, Ubuntu Linux. I am reading from the textbook. Now it is CLI and GUI both the interface are good. Command line interface and graphical user interface both are good according to the textbook. It is user friendly that is just according to the author of the textbook. Upgrades are free but not compulsory. It has all duplicate programs of Windows. That means it has all the programs which are there uh, in Windows that type of programs. Actually duplicate word is not uh, just perfect for this thing. It is 100 percent free and 100 percent legal. Okay, Then uh, we complete this video over here in the next video we will be studying about Ubuntu Linux.